Yeah, I gotta say, those, those puzzle pieces look a bit scary. Hey guys, so I've decided to put on my big girl pants again and attempt another wooden puzzle. And I'm not talking about another puzzle from Timu, which if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave a link down below. But that was my first go around with the wooden puzzle. And quite honestly, I was quite surprised at how well I did with that. I was surprised I was even able to finish it. And on top of that, I thought it was a lot of fun. But my puzzle pal Susan M thought that I needed to step up the challenge. So she decided to send me a wooden puzzle from the company Liberty Puzzles. And this one is called The Mystic Light of Halloween. It's 7.75 inches by 12.5 inches when it's completed. And it has 211 pieces. Now, if any of you guys are a fan of Liberty Puzzles, be sure to hit the like button and let me know down below what have your overall experiences been like with this brand. And obviously, I've never tried a wooden puzzle from Liberty Puzzles before. So I'm really excited to see how different this is compared to the Timo sets. Now, I've already opened up this box and kind of took a peek at it. And that was during one of my last videos. And yeah, I gotta say, those, those puzzle pieces look a bit scary. But aside from that, the image of this set is awesome. And what better set to work on in this lovely season than a Halloween puzzle? Overall, it's a very simple image. So I'm hoping I can kind of like, you know, sort it in a way where I can kind of make it make sense to me so that I can somehow piece it together in a timely manner. I don't know. I, I think I'm freaking out a little bit right now. I, I don't think I'm really making sense. But anyways, enough procrastinating. That's what I'm doing here. Let's open this up again. Let's take a look at these cuckoo pieces and then let's get started on it. All right, so it's been a while since I last opened this box to take a quick peek, but let's take another look at what we are dealing with here. Oh yes, I remember now. Oh boy, yeah, this is gonna be quite interesting. So first thing I'm noticing here is that this does have quite a glossy coating to it. So that's something to note. So much so that you almost cannot see what the color is at all. It looks white there, but it's actually like a, a lightish blue. I really do love how intricate the cuts are on these pieces. This is very, very clean cut. Hey, <laughs> look at the wolf here. This is so cool. This is, this is super Halloween puzzle. Now looking at the more colorful pieces in this set, the tones are very nice. It is kind of hard for me to tell with this picture here on the box if the colors are very true to what you have here. Because of course, that's gonna help you kind of get through this puzzle completion a little quicker because, you know, obviously you can match the colors a little better to what your reference image is here. But I'm super curious to see how these pieces fit into each other. And if you're gonna get like kind of that very loosey goosey feel to it, like I did with the Timu sets where, you know, the slightest touch will kind of pull all the pieces apart. But I don't know, there's so much going on within these pieces. Like there's so many intricate details that I kind of feel they're gonna, they're gonna sit into each other very securely. But I don't know, we'll see, right? I still can't get over how amazing these shapes are. Look at that witch there. Like this is absolutely fascinating to me and quite terrifying at the same time, which is very fitting for the season. But not only do you have these kooky shapes here, but you also have kind of these, you know, nothing shapes here. They're just kind of whatever, really. And they all range in size here. So you kind of have like these smaller pieces, whereas some of these here are quite large. So this is a very nice variety of, you know, things going on here. The strength of this is very solid. You know, you have a nice piece of wood here. I feel like absolutely nothing's gonna happen to these, even if I put all my beastly force in them, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna destroy this beautiful puzzle that Susan gave me. But anyways, guys, you know what? I don't think there's much more to say about this. I think I'm just like trying to procrastinate here because I'm a little terrified of this. But anyways, you know what? Let's put on our big girl pants again and let's get this started. All right, so for this one, I kind of went about the whole sorting of this wooden puzzle just the way I did with my first wooden puzzles. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of pieces laying out here, but what I did was, and I'm sure you can see that I grouped them all according to like similar colors, patterns, 
we have all these pieces here with kind of like that border thing going on here and I have the lighter blues and the darker blues over here are the blues with half yellows plain yellows um, don't really know how I can describe this but you can kind of see the pattern that's going on here in this group so yeah I think this will give me a good head start so you know what let's see how well this works the real question here is what do I start with but anyways let's continue so before getting into piecing this beast together, I decided to quickly hop on to Liberty Puzzle's website to see what other sets I'd probably want in the future. I mean to learn a little bit more about them. Anyways, the company was established in 2005 and it's based out of Boulder, Colorado. They pride themselves in using superior materials. Their wooden puzzle pieces are a quarter inch thick and cut by lasers. I thought that was pretty interesting. And every Liberty puzzle contains their signature whimsy pieces, which are hand-drawn designs that complement the image of the puzzle. They also put a lot of care into their packaging, which is also made out of high-end materials. And the pieces are set in hand-folded tissue paper. No wonder they're quite expensive. But what's also great about Liberty puzzles is that they do offer missing piece replacement. They'll replace or even remake the piece for you, which is fantastic. Now, as I kind of mentioned before, they are on the pricey side, but I must say I couldn't help but go nuts on the image selection. It's beautiful. I'm totally eyeing this Oregon Trail puzzle. Of course, it had to be one of the more expensive sets, but anyways, I'm, I'm gonna have to keep saving my YouTube pennies for quite a while for this one. But they even offer custom puzzles, which is really cool. So if you want to read up more about Liberty Puzzles or browse their puzzle selection, I'll leave their link down below so that you can check them out. I'm pretty sure I'll be window shopping on that site again very soon. Well, so far so good. I feel like I'm a beast going at this. I'm gonna be honest, this is a lot of fun. I'm really loving this set. At first, I didn't really know where to start with it, but I figured, you know, let's just do with the letters and just work our way up, I guess. We'll see how well this plan um, works and for how long for. But anyways, let's move on. Wow, I must say, and you might think I'm exaggerating or being a bit nutty here, but the more I kept popping the right pieces in the right place on the first try, the more I felt like I can do anything. This puzzle made me feel good about myself. It made me feel like I'm some pro puzzler or something, I don't know. I loved this. The overall fit and hold of this puzzle was amazing. The fit was precise, which makes sense since these are laser cut pieces. And the way the pieces are shaped, I think really helped this whole image hold very well together. I was able to move it around my puzzle table multiple times and nothing came apart. Not even at the slightest touch, like with the Timu sets that I tried previously. So that really made the whole puzzling experience so much more enjoyable. But don't think that means you can pick this up or anything. That, that's asking for too much now. I don't think these type of puzzles are meant to work like that anyways. This puzzle took me about 1 hour and 30 minutes to complete. It was challenging, but it was so much fun that it almost felt easy. This was fantastic. The print was great, the fit, the hold was great, it smells nice. You know, if you like the smell of wood and trees and things like that. And you cannot beat the whimsy pea shapes. So if you're looking to treat yourself to a fancy wooden puzzle, I definitely recommend Liberty Puzzles. Yes, they are pricey, about $45 for the cheapest from what I saw. But if you have the spare cash, go nuts. In my opinion, in terms of overall quality, the art, the effort put into them, and most importantly, the overall puzzling experience, I'd say it's worth it. If I had the money, I'd definitely start a whole collection, but I don't. So if you're like me, as I said before, this is definitely something you can treat yourself with. So I am very grateful to Susan for sending me this set and letting me get to experience this. And for also making this puzzle video happen sooner rather than later. And again, let me know down below if you are a fan of Liberty Puzzles and if there are any other wooden puzzle brands that you're a fan of. 
I still have a couple of more wooden puzzle sets that I need to get into, including a Wentworth. So if you're new here and you wanna see what I have to say about those sets, be sure to subscribe. And if you're looking to meet and chat about puzzles with other puzzlers and myself, I do have a puzzling community that you can join. And I am going to leave a link down in the description box that'll take you to that video. Now, in terms of the rest of the videos for October, I have a feeling the puzzle that I am currently working on is going to put me very much behind schedule. So it's very possible that I may not have as many videos as I'd like out this month. And if you're a part of my online community, you know what puzzle I am talking about. So far, I have to say, I'm kind of having regrets. But I feel like I've spent so much time on it so far that it'd be crazy for me to give up at this point. And to be honest, I've never been one to give up on a puzzle. I always feel like if I've spent the time already on it, I'm, I have to finish it. Because then it really will be like I've wasted all that time for nothing. But anyways, I'm running off here. I am hoping to have this video done sooner rather than later. But I'm hoping to get it out before Halloween. So we'll see, right? It really depends how much time I get to work on it and how much of, you know, how much hair I have left to pull out. But I will be keeping you all posted on the Discord puzzling community and on the YouTube community page. So keep your eyes open. As crazy as this puzzle is already making me, I am not giving up on it. I need to finally put this behind me. But anyways, thank you Susan and everyone here again for all your support. And I hope everyone is enjoying the pumpkin season and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.